All right, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So we're out here today, we're looking for some bait. Um, I'm pretty much at a canal near my house right now. Um, we got some homemade dough balls. I got some bread on me. Uh, we're gonna try and catch some bait so we can go fishing at a spillway later on the night. So let's go. All right, you guys, so this is what I'm using. I got a bobber. That's liquid bread, we're not using that. Um, got about three, four feet of eight pound test hooked up to an Arberdeen light wire panfish hook there from white, uh, Eagle Claw. I was gonna say White Claw, <laughs> you know, what's on my mind. Um, from Eagle Claw, you can get these at Walmart for pretty cheap. And pretty much what we're doing is we are putting on these homemade dough balls that I have. All right. Uh, this is made out of flour and uh, big chum. So um, if you guys want, if you guys want me to show you how to make this, let me know. Um, let me know in the comments and I'll make a video of it. So let's go. Here. A little more than that. Come on, bucket. Money. So we are taking our hook, getting a little bit of this homemade dough ball, making a little ball out of it, and just putting it at the end of our hook, with a little bit of the hook exposed. Just gonna kind of mold it to the hook, just up the shank, just right there, make it look nice and presentable. Hopefully, you guys can see the way that looks right there. I'm gonna toss it in to the water right here. The water's flowing out this way right now, so we're gonna toss up current and just let it move down. And hopefully, we'll get some uh, some cichlids to use for bait. So, okay. all right, here we go. First cast. Nice and near those columns right there. in the bucket I'm gonna go ahead and have some dinner you guys and then I'll see you guys at the spillway so all right you guys hopefully you can see a little bit uh, taking our bait Let's see if I can shine the light down here so you can see what I'm doing there we go got our hook Taking our bait through the mouth. There's a sweet spot on them. Just take them right up through the nose. There, that's the eyeball. Okay, let's hook them up through the other nostril because I caught them through that. There we go. These things are hardy bait, so don't be scared to, to hook them. All right, so I'm pretty sure it's a little hard for you guys to see right now. I'm just gonna shine the light real quick. Oh, 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 oh there we go. I think we just got took. I think we just got took, you guys. Hold on, hold on, let him eat. There he is, there he is, there he is. Nice, nice. 
Nice, I think it's a turpin. I think it's a turpin. Oh my god, did he just let go? No, he's still there. He's still there. Alright, we're gonna bring him over here. Holy crap. Guys, that bait didn't even last 20 seconds in there. Oh my god, he's digging. He's digging. Yep. Yep. Oh yeah, big old tarpon. Big old tarpon. Oh, I'm gonna come down here to the bottom. Big old tarpon, guys. Try to take me into the rock right here. It's not happening. Hope you guys can see. Oh my god. Big old tarpon. Oh, he's hooked good too. Come on, boy. Let me loosen the drag up a little bit. There you go. Oh, no, he just popped off. Oh. <laughs> wow, what a rush, you guys. I mean, he just broke me off. Um, this is 40 pound liter. I don't know if that's gonna be enough to, um, that's all I got. I'm, my hands are shaking right now. Wow, let's tie on another hook and uh, <laughs> see if we can't hook him again. All right, guys, I'm tying another leader right now because uh, he frayed uh, the lead. <laughs> you can just tell in my voice how excited I am. Look at my hands, guys. They're shaking right now. Holy crap. Uh, all right, let me finish up this leader. Let's throw another bait out there. Got a fish on, baby. Oh, he's ripping drag right now. Babe! Ah, uh, number two of the night. <sighs> Guys, this is crazy. 60 pound leader. 60 pounds. All right, you guys, well, night number two and uh, tarpon number two. Um, that was really quick. Um, I ended up tying 60 pound leader this time around and Yeah, um, this is the second time that uh, That a tarpon has cut me off um, I'm thinking it's probably the knot that I'm tying at the hook um, So we're just gonna tie a different knot this time around. I'm gonna change the leader because it is Yeah, this this leader is just tore up all the way so I'm going to put another 60 pound leader on, we're going to toss in another fish, and see if we can hook up to another one. Alright, well, sorry you guys really couldn't see anything in the video, it was just dark, and I guess my LED lamp didn't uh, provide enough light, but um, I'm making this into a vlog series, and I'm not stopping until I catch that bad boy that's in there, so um, stay tuned for that, you guys. I'll make sure I make separate videos for you guys showing the uh, the gear that I use and the uh, the process that I go through until I uh, I catch one of those boys. So until then, you guys, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.